Hello and welcome to another edition of Motor Cars Enthusiasts. Well, Tesla's in the news. Tesla's actually been showing off this particular SUV unit, which will be coming in an all-wheel drive model in late 2014, early 2015. Now, that particular all-wheel drive unit is actually on the same platform as the current running Model S, which means the Model S will be getting an all-wheel drive platform in the year of 2014. So if you always wanted the Tesla but wanted it all-wheel drive, Here's your opportunity. Also, Tesla's been dipping their toe into the Chinese market, looking at a business plan to sell their vehicles over in China, at least the Model S. Well, they've run into a heck of a roadblock after a couple of weeks of doing this. Well, they've run into a roadblock as actually in China, Tesla, the name Tesla, has actually already been trademarked. There's a group over there selling golf carts. It's actually got a pair of websites already put up, which would be right down the line what Tesla would be running. Which means they're in serious trouble now. What do you do now? Because you can still sell cars in China, but you can't call it Tesla. So what are they going to do? We'll keep you in tune to what happens to this. Here is a what I think is the greatest deal. If you were into getting an Audi TT, maybe even an Audi TTS like this particular model, but you wanted one a little bit more special, this is the best deal I think I have ever come across. This is... The Audi TTS competition. Now the competition actually is for a celebration deal for production wise. They've built a half a million Audi TTs. Now this particular package doesn't come with anything super great. As far as the drivetrain is exactly the same. You can get it in the all wheel drive system obviously. You can get it in a manual transmission or automatic transmission. Hard top or convertible. And it does come with a specialized interior, which is pretty not too bad. And two bespoke colors that are only to this particular model. Now, for this particular vehicle, you can get it in this Emily Yellow, or you can get it in this Steel Gray. And then when it comes to the actual interior of the model, it's really slick. It comes in Steel Gray, and all the stitching's done in Emily Yellow. It's very, very fantastic. It also comes with embossed situations where it says... 1 through 500, 2 through 500, whichever in the lineup of the 500 units that are going to be built on this is actually shown off in the interior, stitched in, which is pretty cool. Now, let's talk about the cost of this particular situation. As the cost of an Audi TTS costs 46,700 euros or 62,000 US dollars, what's the price for this package? 1,900 euros or 2500 US dollars, which I think is a doggone steal. If you were just going to get an Audi TTS, I think you're a fool not to buy this. A special edition, only 500 units. I don't know if it'll really make it worth anything more down the line, but still think it's pretty cool. Next up on the list, Ford, the F-150 Tremor from the SVT group. Look at it as maybe a Ford Lightning 2.0, if you will. This thing, instead of the supercharged V8 that the Ford Lightning came out with, comes with a twin-turbocharged V6 putting out 365 brake horsepower, 420 pounds-feet of torque. It also comes with 410 gears in the back and bespoke 20-inch wheels that are exclusive only to the Tremor model. Now, we talked about this vehicle back in the past. Why are we talking about it again? This thing's going to be pacing the field. The Camping World Truck Series race on August 17th at the Michigan Motor Speedway. So that's a pretty slick deal when it comes to this deal. And not to mention, this vehicle is going to be going on sale very, very soon. So we'll keep you in tune of that and what final price can come in on this vehicle. We've also, not too very far from the Michigan Motor Speedway, still in Michigan on Woodward Avenue, a vehicle that's going to be going head-to-head -head with this model is this vehicle. Well, maybe not this one. Back in 05, Dodge actually showed off this, a Rumblebee Ram pickup truck, special edition model, which just kind of was more, much aftermarket junk on there. Well, it wasn't aftermarket, but it was Chrysler branded stuff, but it was still not a whole lot of punch in this thing. So I'm excited to see what could be coming of this as Chrysler released this particular picture, or I guess I should say Ram released this picture. Ram Trucks will be having a brand new Rumblebee, which will be making its official debut on August 17th, 2013, the Woodward Dream Cruise. If you don't know what the Woodward Dream Cruise is, it's 
Woodward Avenue up in Michigan was famous for cruising and drag racing and a bunch of stuff back in the day. Well, they still have this party every year, and I'll actually be starting up, at least from the taping of this program, the next couple of days. So, but on August 15th, Ram will be sure, August 17th, I should say, Ram will be showing off this brand new model, so we'll keep you in tune on what this thing's actually going to be coming soon. The Jaguar F-Type is also celebrating its launch into the market and actually doing it in a big way. One of the things they're going to do is with a contest. But let's first talk about what this thing is going to be floating around, especially over in the UK. Actually, from Edinburgh over to Oxford, this thing actually started August 12th of 2013 and will be going all the way through August 16th of 2013. There's going to be a big parade of F-Types going, like I said, from Edinburgh to Oxford and a huge display of these down on Canary's Wharf in the UK. They're actually going to be showing off a bunch of these models so you can go down there and take a peek. That'll start August 12th through the 23rd of August of 2013. Now let's talk about that contest. This is a particular deal. Just go on any social networking site, mainly Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram. Post pictures of stuff around Britain that you think that Britain's doing right, that's doing well. That's an advancement, is what you will say, that's coming from Britain. And you have to hashtag all this particular stuff, being hashtag your turn Britain. Your turn Britain had in the hashtag, and you'll be entered into the contest. They're going to pick the top four pictures that they think are the best and give you a Jaguar F type driving experience. Sorry about the pause there, I just wanted to freak some people out that they thought they were going to get a real deal F type. But pretty cool little situation, nice little program that Jaguar is putting together, and it's for the launch of the brand new F type. Honda's in the news, and for a way that's really, really strange. Honda's put together a brand new website called Project Drive-In. What do you do? Well, this is actually for you guys. Go to Project Drive-In, and I'll put the link on the Facebook page and down in the show notes. You can go right over there and vote on Drive-In Movie Theaters, as Drive-In Movie Theaters are now going bye-bye, as a lot of these are being phased out, because films aren't run on 35mm film anymore. They're all done digitally. And the cost for the digital conversion is quite expensive. So a lot of these theaters are just closing up. Now a lot of people may not even know, as I know this show's seen around the world. So you may not know what a drive-in theater is. Well think of it as a massive car park with a huge screen on one end of it and a projector that actually runs a feature-length film on it. Pretty slick little deal. Back in the day you used to have a little speaker that you mounted up on the glass or on the door that was actually hooked to a pole that gave you the sound. A later days you actually tuned into a specific radio station that would actually play the actual audio of the film. Fantastic way to watch a movie, but these things have gone way down in popularity and definitely have gone way down as far as the amount of them. I think the closest one of the motor cars enthusiast HQ is probably somewhere around two hours away cool way to watch a film and that's what Honda's trying to do through Project Drive-In. You can go to the site and vote on whatever theater, drive-in theater that is, that you think should get the digital conversion and the top five will get free conversions on the house from Honda. Pretty slick little deal and an attaboy from all of us here at Motor Cars to Honda for this particular situation. And that's all there was that I thought was worth talking about for this week's Motor Cars Enthusiast. If you want to jump on over to the Facebook page, the link's down in the show notes. We've got the links to the Project Drive-In. Also, a brand new in-depth video on what the new i8 from BMW is going to be coming out soon. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, you can do so at any time and get the first dibs on the brand new shows as soon as they come out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again real soon.